Hello everybody, I'm Katie Kemper. Welcome to our live reveal. We're going to show you our new stocking fabrics. And I'm also going to show you some fun little <clears throat> craft that Mary Beth did using some of our fabric. I'm trying to pull up it's a nice little here. scrap buster. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so where did you get that, um, the pattern for it? Oh, there's a website I can, it, it's called Confessions of a Serial DIYer. Oh. And um, That's this cute. lady does all kinds of cute stuff. Mostly she refinishes furniture, but I'll put a link on our page. And these are for your house, these ones? Mm. Somewhere. <laughs> okay, so Mary Beth, she used some of our fabric and she bought some sweaters at um, Goodwill. Mm -hmm. It was what buy buy one get one free day or something. It was half off a certain color price tag day. Okay, so it was half off day. So she made these pumpkins. So these all coordinated. This is the waffle knit, actually. <laughs> They're so cute. This is, um, what was that called? This is a sweater knit from last year. See, they match. This was a sweater. That was a sweater. I a bought Goodwill it. sweater. Yeah. And then this was another, this is another one of our sweater knits. I feel like these need to be a little tighter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to redo those with the white. I think mine turned out better. Let me show you the ones she did for me. So... This is the Velour French Terry. Look how cute that is. And um, this is the Lorex, the sparkly Lorex sweater knit. And then this is a sweater from Goodwill. So they're gray. It's like gray, white, and silver. They're really cute. So just a fun, fun thing to share. Throw these back over here. So we have 13 fabrics today. And uh, put these here so you don't forget to take them home. Okay. So let's see. So whoever wins the reveal booty this week is getting um, 13 free yards of fabric. And all you have to do to enter the contest to win is to comment on the video. So add a comment, add 20 comments. Every comment's an entry. And I'll pick somebody randomly and post our winner tomorrow after 4 o'clock. So any comments before 4 um, will go in the, in the, into the contest. All right, let's get started. So our first fabric, I think I have my pile upside down, is a burgundy cotton spandex. We haven't had burgundy before. We just restocked black, dark gray, and jewel. So this is another great um, fall color. And it is, it looks more maroon on the camera. It's, it's definitely burgundy. Yeah, it is. And it's a 95, I believe it's a 95.5 cotton spandex. And I'll throw it next to you oh, since you're eating you. lunch. Let's see here. Okay, our next one is rat. Rad. Red plaid, <laughs> double brush poly. Uh, we're starting to slowly get some more plaids in. We had um, purple last week. So this is, this is new. I know that we've had red, black, and ivory in the past, but this is a different plaid print than we had before. Um, and the red on this one, it's not, the, the reds we had before were darker. This is more of a a brighter red and it's double brush poly so it's real soft and stretchy and I wanted to show you how cute this is on the bias check that out oh yeah I, I prefer this print actually on the bias a little bit totally more changes it. it does it completely changes it so I'll show you um, some coordinates excuse me so for this one So 
it's ivory, whoops, cover myself, <laughs> ivory, red, and black. So some cute ideas with plaid. I don't know, I'm kind of boring. <laughs> so I always think of raglan sleeves with a solid color or the raglan body with solid sleeves. I also think of skirts, gathered skirts. Um, probably nobody in their right mind would wear a be plaid Christmas gathered PJs. skirt. Christmas PJs would be adorable in this. Um, and brush poly is so warm in the wintertime. What else? You could do um, leggings with it, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about... Let me check the stretch. I know I, I have the stretch on the listing. I don't remember what it was. It's about... See what is that? 8, 25, 50. It's 75 horizontal. Make sure I get it straight here. Well, about 40 vertical. So, uh, not such leggings material. Well, maybe <clears throat> size up. Yeah. Usually le leggings are, you need at least 50-50 stretch. Okay. Guess who's calling me right now? Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> My son always calls me during the reveal. <laughs> he has this sixth sense that I can't answer the phone, and that's when he calls me. Okay, we have a few um, polyrayon spandex blends that are stocking. And this is a red, gray, and ivory plaid. If you're an Ohio State fan... Um, this is perfect for you. And Polly Rayon Spandex Blend is a jersey knit that um, has about 60% poly, 30% rayon, and, you know, the rest of it is spandex. So those are rough numbers. Uh, but what it is is a really soft jersey, and it has um, a little... Because it's mostly polyester, it has the great benefits of polyester. It doesn't wrinkle. Um, it holds its shape, so it has great recovery. And uh, the rayon makes it extra silky soft. And you can't really see very well here, but it also has a little bit of a sheen to it. That's from the rayon as well. And because it's mostly polyester, or the polyester content is higher than the rayon, it doesn't grow like a rayon spandex does. So it's kind of like the love child of brushed poly and rayon spandex. I want you to explain the difference between four-way stretch and two-way stretch. Okay, four-way <clears throat> stretch is when you stretch horizontally, so side to side or um, against the grain, right? Because the grain goes mm -hmm. up and down. And vertically up and down with the grain. Two-way stretch is when the fabric will stretch only one of those directions. It's usually horizontal with the knit. It'll, well, wovens don't typically stretch, but if you have two-way stretch with the knit, it's usually side to side horizontal. Um, fabrics famous for two-way stretch are uh, like double knits, Liverpool, Scuba, French, French Ponte. Terry is pretty much usually two-way. French Terry a lot of times is two-way. Sometimes you'll get a four-way stretch on a French Terry if it's, um, I think if it has cotton in it, it usually has a four-way stretch. Um, I think the rayon ones tend to have four-way stretch also. Because um, French Terry can come either it's mostly poly with some rayon and spandex, or it's poly cotton, cotton poly, um, or mostly rayon with some poly and spandex. So there's some different um, fabric combina combinations you can get with French terry. And we have a couple French terries coming up, so we can talk about that a little bit more. So um, I hope that answered the question. So this coordinates for this real quick are ivory double rush poly. And that's about it, except we have um, this one coming up. I'm totally making a shirt out of that. This is also PRS. It's new. It's coming up in a minute. But this coordinate's really cute with it, I think. I added it as a coordinate. So we also have 
sunflower, same same thing, plaid, polyrand, spandex, but this is a mustard gray ivory. The supplier called it sunflower, so we thought that was cute, so we stuck with it. <laughs> um, coordinates for this are ivory. You can mix brush poly with polyrand spandex in a garment. Shouldn't be a problem. Ivory is a coordinate, complementary coordinates, so these aren't an exact match, but they look good. Um, black, I think black looks nice with it, and mustard gold. And of course the gray stars. And of course the gray stars, <laughs> which are coming up. So that's the sunflower. Now I look at this and these are my daughter's school colors and I think I should make a shirt because I go help out at the school sometimes and I can wear my shirt. Well, that would be cute. And the other moms would be like, where'd you get your shirt? I'd say I made it. <laughs> How did you do that? It's magic. That's all fantasy because I don't, <laughs> I have not had time to sew <laughs> lately. Um, here are the charcoal stars. And we just restocked last week the same fabric in eggplant and olive. So now we have charcoal, polyrand spandex, very cute. And the stars are kind of, you know, dispersed print and the background is heathered. Um, so it's real uh, vintage looking. It's like your favorite t-shirt. And it coordinates with ivory or the plaids I just showed. There's that. Also polyrayon spandex. And then we also got in a rust colorway. I like that too. Yeah, it's really pretty. I was looking at this next to the olive and um, I was thinking, you know, it, the two of them together look like a vintage, um, can you see vintage Christmas decorations? Oh yeah. Just like All a country, out. kind of yeah. a little bit of a country vibe. <clears throat> so um, ivory is the coordinate for this. So if you say, I don't know, decorated in country and you wanted to make your kids some cute Christmas PJs, you could do the olive and the rest cute. stars. Yeah. Okay, here's French Terry. So this is called Reverie. It is, um, this is a poly rayon spandex French terry. It's a baby French terry. So baby just means it refers to the size of the loops. French terry always has loops. And um, these are little tiny loops. So it's called baby French terry. And the background on this is a heathered navy. Or I'm sorry, we described it as a two-tone navy because heathers are usually lighter. But this is more two-toned. And... I didn't dig them out. I'm going to right now. There's some French terry coordinates I want to show you with this. These two plus. This one. First I'll show you really quick the coordinates for brush poly. Are almond. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And pink. There's a lot of colors in here. One of one of them is the light light pink. And then French terry coordinates. If you wanted to mix French terry, French terry would be the heather oh, blush. That's really pretty. Yeah. Let's see if I can. It goes with that one leaf right there. Well, you just covered it. Of that course one. I did. This one. Yeah. From here, it looks really pretty with it. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that's a great coordinate. Um, also, love the greens. Heather melon. Oh yeah. There's a lot of green. The yeah, those the green leaves going have on. a lot. Okay. And I like how the the green plays off the blue, mm -hmm. the navy blue. So there's heather melon, and then there's uh, the heathered sage. So those are fun coordinates, and I did include, I don't normally put French terry in on the fabric listing, but I did. I did put them in there as the coordinates. This is a little bit lighter, the French terry, than the ones that we normally carry. 
just want to mention that. It'll be real grapey then. Yeah. Oops. Oops. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> I jumped ahead. Gave you a sneak peek. Um, this is Felicity. French Terry. And I didn't know this, but Felicity means happy. Did mm -hmm. you know that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, this one has a like a two-tone black background and it makes these leaves on here just pop. That's really fun. It makes me happy the way that happens. <laughs> so that's why I named it Felicity. No joke. Okay, so this one. You didn't name it for Felicity Huffman? I did not. <laughs> did not. This one goes with uh, almond. I have that as a complimentary coordinate because it looks really pretty with the peachy colors in here. Um, let's see, dark raisin. I like it because it's the color inside the flower. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit dark though, kind of dark. And the evergreen is complimentary because it kind of picks up the green, but it's dark. So if you wanted to stay with the dark look of it, you could go with those. Now this one also matches the heather. Oh, I like that. I really one, like but... that. The mm -hmm. heather sage really pulls the leaves out. The heather melon again also. Ooh, that that darkened the screen right up. Did it? Yeah. And regular sage. I'm not sure if I have a piece of that one. You'll just have to take my word for it. Regular sage French cherry. It's not heathered. It's just a solid color. And then our burgundy. We're still filling pre-orders, so the burgundy hasn't been released yet. But if you got burgundy in your pre-order, or you had some from last year, uh, this goes with the inside of the flowers. I really like it together. It's pretty. Does the peach go with it at all? No. Okay. No, it's just <clears throat> off because that this peach in here is like a creamy orangey, more of an orangey peach. And our peach is more of a pink Does peach. Does that go with it? No. It doesn't. The two-tone two charcoal is a little bit lighter than the background okay. on this. There you go. Okay, let's get into our liver pools. We have a handful of liver pools. And if you're signed up for our email blast today, um, you will get a link to our, our spotlight on Liverpool that talks more about it if you don't know a lot about Liverpool. So, let's see. This is called Limelight. And it's so pretty. It's in mustard. It's really beautiful. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you bought this fabric and made something out of it, you better be prepared for everybody to stop and look at you because it is a very gorgeous bold pattern it's just the kind of thing that you it just draws your eye right to it so if you're looking for a showstopper limelight's your your showstopper i just i love the the colors and, and this so is rich. just so beautiful and <clears throat> so fall fallish so let's see liverpool is a double knit i'll give you the little breeder's digest on it it's a double knit, which means it has two layers of uh, fabric that are knitted together. So extremely light layers. It's not it's not a heavy fabric at all. You can see on the edge there um, that it's two layers. The back of it's very soft, so it's very soft against your skin. It has a light um, like uh, texture. Yeah, texture. Thank you. Um, and some textures I want to say are a little bit thicker than others. Maybe it's just the way it looks. No, I'd say it's just because sometimes the, the print makes it a little bit different. So because it's a double knit and because it has that little bit of texture, it lays really nice um, for garments that need a little bit more structure. Um, so peplum tops, um, sheath dresses, 
cigarette slim type pants, um, pencil, skirts. pencil skirts. Uh, Even those skirts with the little flounce at the bottom are cute. Oh yeah, cool. skirts with flounces. <clears throat> I think I've seen people make jogger type pants with them before. Um, certainly you could do, I made a couple pairs of pants out of Liverpool um, that are like a straight leg pant. They have really pretty drape. And somebody asked about bomber jackets, of course. Oh yeah, bomber jackets. bomber jackets. Forgot about that. Thanks for mentioning that. Bomber jackets, um, blazers that are appropriate for knit fabrics. Does anyone know about the stretch? The stretch is... Uh, <clears throat> see you want to know percentage so horizontal <laughs> if I can get my fingers on it about 75% horizontal and your verticals probably less than 25 is, I guess let's check this out I gotta make sure I get the right fold on it About 20% vertical stretch. Okay, let me show you coordinates real quick. Real quick, like. Jet black. The leaves are brown, but they do get really deep into a black color. So, jet black, lipstick red, which is our red that's a little bit deeper. Very pretty. Uh, regular red. Mustard gold. Yeah, it's a really good match. Um, and white. So the flowers in here are white. So those are your coordinates. So that's limelight and mustard. <laughs> and we also have it in this dark mauve color. Ooh, that's pretty that's too. Beautiful. So the gray is like a steely bluey <clears throat> type gray. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the leaves are this brownish sienna. Just really striking. So for this one, we have white, jet black, and dark raisin. So there's your black. Ooh, it makes it look real fallish. There's your white. And dark raisin is not an exact Ooh, match, pretty though. but it's beautiful. It's not showing up on camera as good as it is in person. It's just really, it's really rich and it, it goes with the background just very, very beautifully. Take my word for it. <laughs> I promise. Katie won't steer you wrong. I promise. There you go. Okay, we also have a geometric um Liverpool and these are fun I love these in dresses I think this would be cute in a bomber jacket oh yeah it's, it's just real cute. ivory and black so of course you know those are your let's see is it ivory or is it white so ivory and white both go with this in my estimation oh yeah you can't even tell the difference between the colors because the way the camera is reflecting if I go like this this is the ivory. You can see how ivory compared to white, how it has just a hint of yellow in it, which is what makes it ivory. But either of those colors, it's right, the white on this is right in between white and ivory. So that's your Geo Liverpool. And don't forget, every time you comment, it um, enters you in the con contest to win all of these new stocking fabrics. This is cheetah, so this black and white cheetah. I think this is so much fun. <laughs> so that's our our cheetah print. Oh, also the same deal: um, black, ivory, or white. You could do either of those. And then this is my favorite. They're all your favorite. Animal print. Now, <laughs> I just called it animal because it's so hard to nail this one down. I went online and looked up different patterns. Is it cheetah? Is it leopard? Is it jaguar? Yes, <laughs> all of those. So it's just an animal print. These are fun because you can mix 
um, some really cute solid colors with them that I think look fantastic. So this is almond and almond I have down as a coordinating color. It looks um, kind of picks up the, the creamy, there's a couple of light spots and it coordinates well with those. Um, so there's almond, of course jet black looks fabulous with it. And cognac. Ooh, that looks really rich. It's, yeah, it's really rich and pretty. So cognac is a great coordinate. Um, and then the fun ones. Uh, yeah, I like reds with those. I like mustard. Mm -hmm. Mustard's fun with it, and so are the reds. So this is regular red, and this is lipstick red. I prefer the lipstick over the regular, but I think they both look fantastic. So I do. I put those down as coordinates in there, even though they, you know, I just think they're fun together. So that's our our animal print. And that's it. That was everything. That was fast. That was fast. For 13. I know. Fast for 13. Does anybody have any last pressing questions? I don't see any, but you know, you know I'm behind you a little bit. Oh, I just saw somebody ask about <coughs> Liverpool for SOS pants. It should be good for mm -hmm. SOS pants. So if yeah, you, I think they only need 20% stretch. If you want to get a leggings type look, with something like a Liverpool or a Ponte or Techno Scuba, you know, like kind of a two-way stretch. You want to go with an SOS pant Sabrina or Sabrina Slims. Slims by Love Notions. SOS is Patterns for Pirates. Kind of a lot. If if the pattern maker has, if they're doing tops and bottoms, they'll usually have a cigarette slim type pant like that. I couldn't name them all. Um, any other ones you can think of that are... Mm -mm. Not off the top of my head. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we have any other questions. I don't see any. Yeah, lucky 13. So like, when I say cigarette pant, I mean a slim pant. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. Like a skinny jean type look. Yeah. Or even maybe... Like a jagging type look. Okay. Oh, Liverpool works really well with the fresh jeggings by um, Winter Wear. Do they have adult sizes in that <clears> throat> too? Throat> I, I believe she has an so, adult pattern of that. Winter Wear Designs Fresh Jeggings, P H R E S H. Mm -hmm. Fresh. I, I mean, I know they have kids up to size 14, but I made those. Yeah. I made a pair and they're amazing. They're easy to do and and they fit so nice. And they're great for denim, too. Because yeah, Mary Beth, yeah. we have stretch denim, real stretch denim. And Mary Beth made fresh leggings for um, my niece out of those. And they looked really cute. Did you post those in the group? I don't think so. She's, what am I going to do I'm with her? I'm kind of lame that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this just loaded a whole bunch of comments I didn't see before. Dead air. Dead air. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just reading through comments. Um, I'll buy it. I'll buy it all and figure it out later. Yeah, <laughs> like and that. Everybody, everybody comes up with really good ideas of what to make with everything. So tell them, you know, if you have questions, get on the yeah, Facebook page. Definitely. If you have any questions about what to make or, or anything like that, ask in the group because there's so many active group members that people really do help quite a bit and um, a lot of times people will have pictures to post too so don't be shy if you have a question if you have a fabric from us and you have a question about it just ask there's tons of helpful people in the group yeah. all right well i think if there's no more questions i'm going to go ahead and shut her down for today so don't forget to comment uh you never know if you can win you never know never know yeah never know so, um, all right, well, I'll see you guys next week, and we're continuing to get the French Cherry pre-orders out, by the way, so um, look for updates in the group. There is uh, an update I posted a couple days ago in the, uh, the announcements about timing, 
So um, if you were one of the ones that ordered olive and mauve latte, um, check that out. That should be those orders should be shipping next week. Next week. Um, and then I'm still waiting to hear from the supplier on the dusty lavender. So um, that one will be. I've been told November. So I'll as soon as I have a date for when that we're going to get that, I will update you on that as everything well. Everything else is in the mail today. And everything, okay, all the other orders are in the mail today. Mm -hmm. They're all okay. they're all gone we're, so we're ahead of schedule. You're welcome. Yeah, we are ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. We said the week of the 23rd to the 27th and we started shipping last Thursday or Friday, didn't you? Mhm. Mm yeah, so we try and do that. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, and um, I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.